Hello, my name is Generic Self Insert, and let me all tell you a story. I once built a house. It was a great house with a roof, almost a ceiling, and four walls. I was proud of this house. But then, a friend of mine, who shall not be named, came along and started playing with his flint and steel and burned it down. My friend, who shall not be named, burned down my beautiful house, the house I worked almost a full half hour on. Why is this story relevant? That's because today I will be talking about Minecraft and my favorite Minecraft fanfic, and I also want to call out my friend who shall not be named for burning down our house. Fuck you, Delta. Now Minecraft fanfic sounds like it shouldn't work. Actually, there are officially licensed and published Minecraft books, one of which was written by the writer from World War Z, but funnily enough, there aren't many Minecraft fanfics, despite it being the most sold game in the world. League of Legends has a similar thing, but with how many hours players have to put into hating the game, it makes sense that they don't have time to start writing fun fiction. Now if you look up Minecraft fanfics right now, you'll most likely find a lot of fanfics shipping the Minecraft YouTuber dream with his friend George, which just gives a very interesting meaning to the word manhunt. The fic I want to talk about today is older, in fact, it was published in 2015, and as of now, it is over 25 million words long. Now you might be wondering how you can write a fic that long about a block game, which has no notable story or characters of its own. If you know the story of Sword Art Online or have watched any anime in the last decade, you might be familiar with the premise of this fanfiction. The too long didn't read summary of this story is basically this. A character gets reincarnated into the world of Minecraft, and if they die, it's game over. Our main protagonist is a guy who names himself Cobb. He has no memories of his past life, but he does know that the world of Minecraft isn't the way the world should be, and now he wants to survive the world of Minecraft. Now, a normal Minecraft story would probably involve our main character getting wood, getting a stone pickaxe, inventing colonization and slavery and becoming the new British Empire. However, there's an interesting twist in the premise right here, and it is the reason why this fic managed to capture my interest. You see, this fanfic doesn't tell the story of Cobb or his friends. No, my craft tells the story of the world. The world of my craft is a standard Minecraft world, with the exception it has had over 1 billion reincarnated players living in it, and there are no rules, no world resets, and no admins. Now, 500 years in this world have passed before the story already starts, and when our protagonist joins he isn't in a blank world. In fact, he is quite literally late to the game, and the world has already been grieved, built in, explored, and mapped out. Because of this, our protagonist cannot just start a regular, boring Minecraft survival. Instead, he has to deal with existing factions such as griefers, trolls, hackers, achievement hunters, and entire kingdoms. Each faction in the story has their own playstyles and rules and adapted to the world of Minecraft in a unique way. For example, Daemonte is basically hermit-trapped while Akasha is ruled by hackers and griefers. So basically, 2v2. The oldest anarchy server in Minecraft is also very fun to read for people who aren't very familiar with the game, but also interesting for veterans as it makes use of pro-gamer moves like Watermog and Redstone. Basically, I just want to tell you guys that I really enjoy this fanfic and that you should read it. And if I can give one more positive note about the Minecraft fanfiction, then it has to be that my friend is not in it. Yes, I am talking about you, Delta. This was your generic self-insert. Remember to subscribe. I will burn down a tree for every subscriber. Obligatory mention for the Discord server. Also, I'm looking for an editor. So, if you are a human, or know a human who wants to get more work experience for free, slide into my DMs.